Good afternoon, folks. This morning we went over the planetary alignments about to occur with Jupiter and Venus heading behind the Sun from Earth's perspective. Those are the ones visible on SOHO coronagraphs right now. We have covered dozens of papers in the last few years on planetary alignments and solar activity, which is indeed potentially due for another uptick here with these alignments, but it has been a very long time since our in-depth information sharing on seismic activity in the planets. It's kind of a weird one, because it seems that the entire solar system gets activated during these alignments due to resonance and electric field coupling, even when the Earth is not involved. Here are some good examples. The massive magnitude 8.8 .8 in Chile in 2010, same alignment that's about to happen this weekend. The very next year, the Fukushima disaster nine-pointer in Japan. The Sun and Earth got super active when the giant planets opposed the Sun. Looking back in time, triple lineup of planets on the day of the 9.2 in Alaska in 1964, the 2004 Christmas tsunami in Sumatra, Sun and Earth both activated during that alignment, had another one in 1952 for the Great Kamchatka quake, there were two sets of alignments during the largest quake on record in India, including that Venus-Mars-Mercury inclusion, another one for the 2012 shake in the Indian Ocean, and by the way, that was six of the largest eight earthquakes ever recorded, seven of the largest ten. Now, while some quakes should inevitably randomly fall on alignment days, that is way beyond random expectation. The papers on planetary geometry and quakes aren't easy to find, at least not as easy as the ones on the planets and solar activity, but this here is one of my favorites from the last few years. To really find in-depth analysis, you may need to look for the papers from the 1950s through 1970s. Now, we've got both high solar forcing and several planetary alignments in the coming days, and while I am not officially forecasting a massive quake, these are some of the astronomical forcing patterns we look for. Just a little FYI and something you can investigate further or watch for or check when big quakes happen. Subscribe and I'll see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.